aquí estamos ya casi por terminar esta cuarta edición del México Metal Fest y tenemos a una leyenda del metal aquí con nosotros, Dan de Nuclear Assault. How are you, man? It's such an honor to have you here. Thank you very much. Very glad to be back. Are you uh, enjoying this festival? Oh, very much. Great bands, great organizers, uh, a lot of people. Yeah, it's nothing, nothing to complain about. Awesome. How do, you, how do you feel about being in charge of closing this this festival, this edition? Uh, it's a big responsibility, I guess. So we will make sure and not disappoint anyone. But also, the people is already uh, very euphoric. Some of them are a bit drunk. So it's going to be a fun show tonight, right? Oh yeah. So you've been uh, in the scene for a lot of years. Do you have any special memory uh, from all your tours, especially here in Latin America? Hmm. Well, I mean, um, here in Mexico, I remember playing with Brutal Truth and Deicide in Mexico City a long time ago. Um, I've played all over in like Brazil and Chile and Argentina down there, and I just love the. Um, there's something about the. Uh, Latino people, they're, they're so passionate. They're so, you know, um, dedicated. So it's always great playing anywhere south of uh, America. And fuck Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's a huge festival with a lot of bands from the old school and also from the new school. How do you feel uh, this evolution of metal in the 30 uh, plus years that you've been playing? Well, I mean, I think it's great, but also I've participated in lots of these genres. You know, of I course. started playing thrash metal, then I got into grindcore, and I've played black metal at home. So, um, obviously, I think it's good because I like to play extreme music, like Emperor. Of course, playing right now, Emperor on stage, um, and particularly on the on the genre crossover. What do you think about uh, you being like? Cataloged into the the genre and about the evolution of the crossover in, in the in the uh, last years. If you mean like the old crossover metal hardcore stuff, yeah. well, it makes sense that we have this classification because we took a lot from hardcore back in the day. It was a big influence for lyrics and speed of the music, and it's great that there's still all these bands like you know Municipal Waste con yeah. continuing this. Sorry, I have to drink. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, that actually we had uh, Municipal Waste on the festival last year. It was a great show, and yeah, they also talked about uh, keeping that strand and that speed in, in music. So, uh, this is a farewell tour for, for you guys, right? How it's been? In general, yeah. Um, it's great that people still care, and uh, yeah, we're just... I'm getting old, man. I'm 55 years old. I have pains in my body now. It's hard to it's fuck. A, it's a price of rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm not playing Neil Diamond music. You play aggressive shit, I'm still playing as intensely as possible, but it's starting to hurt. Yeah, and uh, do you have any plans of, uh, when Nuclear Assault is no longer on, on stage? Do you still care about making music uh, like un only for a studio or something? Well, um, I still play in a band where I live in my hometown, so I would probably just do something local that's easier, not going on tour, and making music at home in my, on my computer, and yeah, just still making music, just relaxing more. Yeah, that's great. So, well, uh, thank you for being here. You have a great show coming in a, in a few minutes. So, uh, thanks for being that legend. Thanks for the music that you brought to us. And uh, have a great, great time here in Mexico and in the Mexico Metal Fest. Thank you for having me. Fuck yeah. Y así es como esta leyenda del trash está aquí con nosotros en la cuarta edición del Mexico Metal Fest.